like always, by the time this video is uploaded, it'll be Father's Day. And just like I did for Mama Gamer, I'm going to show you what I got my dad for Father's Day. And no, my dad is not a gamer. He's not known as Papa Gamer or Daddy Gamer. That sounds wrong. My dad plays Sudoku. <laughs> anyway, enough said. Let me show you what I bought. My father is one of those people who goes out to buy toiletries and doesn't care what brand or smell or anything it is as long as it says shampoo, conditioner or shower gel. He's also one of those people who forgets that the rest of us have to smell it. So there's nothing better than getting free toiletries so I bought him this men's Dove shower gel. I'm anti -persement. I'm not saying anything dad, honestly. You might have guessed this already, but I'm one of those people for whatever event. I usually plan ahead either one or two months in advance. And technically this would have been the first month because it says dad on it and it's for Father's Day. My dad has this thing about torches. Don't ask why, but you can see his point no, they're very handy. Only in the dark door. And this little thing is a torch key ring and it's actually quite powerful. I mean you won't see it with my ring lights but shouldn't point out the camera should I? <laughs> it's very powerful and technically whoever invented this they had smarts. Just attach this to your keys, you fumble in the dark, you'll have a source of light. Apparently a common problem with most men who have big heads that is my father included, is finding a hat that actually fits. Not just any hat though, specifically a baseball cap. A hat in general that isn't stretchy or woolen or a beanie or anything for that matter. And <laughs> since I found a hat that actually fits my dad's head, it's become a tradition for me to buy him one egg, well pretty much since 2016 for every birthday, Father's Day and Christmas. And I'll never forget the look my dad had when he tried on his first hat and he actually made this face. I swear, Dad, this is the last hat I'll ever buy you. In case you need a new one, that is. Like most men, or stereotypically like most men, my dad is interested in sports, and especially the NFL. And his favourite football team is the Dallas Cowboys. This is actually a keyring slash bottle opener. I'm not encouraging anything, I swear. And this is his second Dallas Cowboys mode because it's old one, well, it got wrecked from years and years of use. So, apologies for any supporters of rival teams. <laughs> my best friend's favourite team is the Chiefs and my friend in America, to narrow it down, is a Ravens fan. So. I'm just that person who just hopes both teams have fun. That's a nice way of saying I couldn't give a toss of who wins. But still, makes my dad happy. On the subject of mode still, we've all done it. We've all got our dads the mug. I just like to embarrass him. My father was a basic man. Another weird one I found in the Father's Day section of the shops. It's a wallet card with multi-tools. 
it has a bottle opener again I swear I'm not encouraging anything a screwdriver a ruler a letter opener box opener peeler can opener well it seems handy might come in handy in the apocalypse if should if there should ever be one hopefully not <laughs> Lately, we've been having nice weather in England, which is unusual for us because anything over 10 Celsius is warm for us. But nevertheless, my dad has something cool to wear. Cool as in, it'll keep him cool from the heat. <laughs> so, me and Mama Gamer went out and we found this shirt. We think it's rather nice. And as you can see, my dad's a tall man. So, <laughs> we were looking to find a shirt. Six foot two to be exact, or maybe even higher. He's still tall to me. <laughs> anyway, I like the shirt, it's nice. And very nice fabric too. And again, on the subject of shirts, <laughs> I'll just let it explain for itself. He already knows. It's just a nice reminder. And last but not least, which I know will be his absolute favourite out of all this. If you remembered that I took a Buzzfeed quiz telling me what I should get my dad for Father's Day. And the result I got was whiskey. And that's exactly what I bought him. First off, we got the adult version of a multi-pack of cereal. Yes, multi-packs. You can choose which one. And honestly, whiskey just tastes the same to me. And I know he likes famous grouse and I don't know about these two. They came with, well, you can see, they came with the grouse. And technically, I did say that it has to be Scottish whiskey. But, but Jack Sektakai fans would know this, myself included. <laughs> Jameson's Irish Whiskey. Technically, John Jameson was Scottish, but according to the internet, he owned a dis whiskey distill distillery. Yeah, let's go with that. Distillery. Distillery in Ireland. So technically, if the creator of the said product, wouldn't that be considered Scottish? That's basic. At the end of the day, it's whiskey. And lastly, on to the cards. I found this card a while back and I thought it was nice. It's a nice shade of blue. It's very shiny. I like the hologram effect on it. And it's just for my dad, as it says there. You'll never find a card like this. Never. And it has a nice message in it that has stars all over the place. I like stars. And I think it's fitting since the Dallas Cowboys logo is a star. And yes, we're still that family who gets cards from the pets but this one this was literally made for well that kind of family <laughs> uh, it speaks for itself <laughs> oh boy so that's what I bought my dad for Father's Day let me know what you got for your father figure in your life down in the comments below. Whether it be your dad, your uncle, your grandpa, your brother, or whoever, your neighbour, or the family friend who has been there for you in your life. Let me know in the comments below. And happy Father's Day, Dad. And if you liked it, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe for more. See you soon.